Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe and if you've already subscribed, a big thank you for being here. So today's video is going to be all about lipsticks. So here are all the lipsticks that I'll be showing you. I'm going to swatch the favorite ones on my lips and the ones that I seldom use on my hand. So let's get started. To begin with, we are going from nude shades to browns, move on to pinks and plums and wrap it up with maroons and red. So to start off with, the first one that I'm already wearing is from the brand NYX. It's their soft matte lip cream in the shade Dubai which I've already applied. This has to be my go-to lipstick. You eat, you drink, you wear a mask, the lipstick is pretty much there. Again, the formula is great and the best thing about it is it looks very natural. Now I'm going to swatch some of the lipsticks that I use very rarely. This is in the shade 630. It's a light nude color. The next one would be again from L'Oreal. Here is the swatch for this one. This is in the shade 654. And then we have this one from Rimmel, it's from their Kate collection. This is in the shade 112. It's a beautiful looking nude brown color. All right. And we have this one, which is from Faces Canada. This is in the shade brunette 20 this is a darker brown there you go these are all pretty moisturized lipstick the formula is great this is from the list of favorites it's by the brand mac it's from their viva glam collection this is in the shade viva glam 3 the best thing about this line is that they offer funds to people who are suffering from deadly diseases like HIV and AIDS, beauty for cause. It's a dark brown lipstick with maroon undertones. It's highly pigmented. Um, it has got vanilla fragrance to it. It smells really nice. This is how it looks. Also, the lipstick sits pretty well in the sense it looks velvety, it's soft and it stays for hours so highly recommend this one here are the second set of lipsticks to start off with the basics the first one would be by the brand called nyx it's their powder puff lippy in the shade prank call this reminds me of school days you know if you're looking for a tint or something very lip glossy this is the shade for you it's a very beautiful pink so this is the one the next one would be by the brand faces canada this one is in the shade uh, splendid iris this is how it looks it's super creamy it's nice again it's long lasting it'll stay about for a good four to five hours you can wear the mask remove it and you'll still find the lipstick there the next one is from Rimmel again it's from the Kate collection this is in the shade 107 here I'm going to swatch it for you this is how it looks this is how it looks here we have another shade from NYX. This is in the shade Budapest. It's almost over. Let me just watch it for you. If you are looking for a matte color, here it is. It looks really pretty. If you're looking for a soft matte lip cream, this is the one. And moving on to plum. The 
this is one of my recent buys this is from miss claire this is in the shade one zero it's somewhat like purple but a lighter shade of purple this is how it looks it's matte so when you apply it it's pretty glossy satin finish but with time it tends to get dry that's all for the second set of lipsticks we will now move on to the last set which are maroons and red here we have five of them the first one to start off with would be a maroon this is by the brand sugar this one is 36 veronica mars okay so this is how it looks it's a beautiful matte shade the next one would be by the brand nika the name of this shade is kiss and tell as you can see i need to stop it that means i've been using this one this is how this shade looks this is a bold red if you're looking for a statement color or if you are looking to wear something for parties this is the one the next one we have is from the brand nyx this is in the shade madrid if you want a long lasting lipstick something red in between red and maroon this is the one here i have swatched it for you this lipstick won't make your lips look chapped it's a soft matte lip cream so it sits pretty well and it will give you that velvety finish a buttery light red this would be the one this is from the brand H&M here we have another one this is the last one from NYX it's their liquid suit lipstick it's a metallic shade I do not use it often it's again I wear it depending upon the occasion because it is metallic so it stands out. One tip would be to apply a lip balm prior to applying this lipstick. It's pretty heavy on the lips. That's all for this video. If you would like to check out or go for any of the shades, you can find the details in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for being here see you guys in my next video until then take care and stay safe